How does meditation help you with the law of attraction? If you want to know more, stay tuned till the end of the episode. And please, if you feel like doing so, share, like, and comment. Your support is much appreciated. Abraham Hicks talks a lot about meditation and how it does help for manifestation and how it does help to manifest your own reality, the reality you do want. However, I would say that meditation is not a technique you use directly to manifest your dreams, your reality, your desires. However, meditation is indirectly linked towards manifestation and it is a very, very useful tool. I would even say, at least in my case, indispensable tool. Why? Meditation is simply put something that calms your mind and makes it still. And for all of you who have been practicing for a while, you understand that practicing meditation does make your mind still. And when you reach this state of stillness, that's where you literally start using the techniques that are more direct, so to speak. So what you would do is actually meditate first, then start visualizing, starting your auto-suggestions, your affirmations, your scripting, etc., etc. Unless you're really good to begin with at making your mind still. That's why a lot of people advise to actually start your manifestation techniques when you wake up or when you go to sleep. And a lot of people who actually, a lot of people who follow Neville Goddard actually strongly recommend to do it at night before you sleep. Because that time where your conscious mind is transitioning to your subconscious mind is an ideal time because this is kind of a in-between moment where you kind of falling asleep and you're not really conscious anymore and the conscious that's from Joseph Murphy the conscious mind is light and the subconscious mind is taking over so in this transitional phase your conscious mind has less distraction so to speak and less negativity so that's the right time to imprint the subconscious mind And meditation helps a great deal when it comes to this. It helps tremendously. Obviously, meditation is often used as to relax your mind, relax your body, to lessen your thoughts, etc., etc. And of course, to reach enlightenment for those who are interested. But we are not talking about this right now. We're talking about manifestation. But... The thing about meditation is once you reach this state of mind, it's not only a state of mind that you can reach when you do meditate because meditation has a long-term effect. So when you start meditating consistently for and after a while, you will have an awareness of your thoughts and that's incredibly important when it comes to manifestation. Because oftentimes we think about manifestations as just the morning and at night or one or the other or both where we use the techniques and we just forget about them but the thing is especially at the beginning yes you will do it and you might have a great time great fun and you might feel very satisfied when you do it in the morning and at night and or at night however there's a huge amount of time between the morning and the night right this You might be doing the techniques, the manifestation techniques, all about, what, maybe 30 minutes? One hour if you count both morning and night? How many hours are between when you wake up and when you go to sleep? 16, 17, depending on how much you sleep and how much you do in the day? That's a lot. And obviously, if you have a lot of self-limiting beliefs, they won't go that easily. I just got, of course, recommend to meditate and do the techniques with a lot of repetition so until it, imp- it imprints your mind you will know when it imprints your mind because you won't have as many negative thoughts during the day however meditation comes in handy not only when you meditate to get in the state of mind where you can start the techniques which is great which is indispensable to have this stillness of mind you won't that's what Abraham Hicks talks about a lot don't visualize don't do affirmation if you're in a negative state of mind, if you're overwhelmed by something else, she asks her audience to go general. Well, I won't talk about this subject right now, but you don't want to 
be specific about your goals and desire etc when you are not in the proper state of mind and meditation does help you this meditation not only helps you get into the stillness of mind or at least calm your mind down it also carries out through the day through the weeks through the years etc etc the more you do it obviously the better you get at it and the more easy it is to reach this state of stillness so bear with me and remember those words meditation is a great indirect tool for manifestation and not only that i think it serves as a great foundation in your life and your life includes of course manifestation and making your dreams your reality so to speak during the day i wrote an article and made a video about this during the day you have a lot of thoughts that you are unaware of usually the thoughts come into your mind i'm talking about negative thoughts or oh, positive thoughts but let's use the negative thoughts for an example the negative thoughts usually come in your mind and you don't necessarily register recall those thoughts in your mind you don't you're not aware that you have any thought however when you have those negative thoughts it will build up and you will feel something in your body usually you'll feel bad you'll feel like shit you'll feel depressed etc and when it comes to meditation how it helps it it actually you can catch it early on you can catch it directly when you have the first thought of course you need some practice to 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 get to this level but it's not that it's hard and it won't take that long so once you catch the thought at the beginning you can just let go of it you don't entertain this thought as joseph murphy said in one of his book he said that when those thoughts come you can tell it to yourself i'm a thinker i have no control over my thoughts and you are not welcome here you serve you don't serve any purpose when it comes to negative thoughts so you don't need to welcome those thoughts you can welcome the good thoughts and let go of them let go of the bad thoughts so to speak the negative thoughts the thoughts that don't serve you they don't serve your purpose your manifestation etc but you don't have to beat them out of you you don't have to feel bad you don't have to beat yourself up because you have negative thoughts just acknowledge them and just let them pass as simple as that and while you're doing more and more of the assumption work the techniques and the direct visualization direct affirmation direct auto suggestion you have less and less of those thoughts but meditation serves as a prerequisite because not only you have less of the thought by virtue of just meditating you will also be aware to catch them at the beginning instead of let's say you can catch them at 10% instead of at 90% which is a huge gap and it saves you a lot of energy a lot of time and a lot of sadness and depression so that's why meditation is incredibly important and I strongly recommend not only for life but I don't want to digress but of course it life it will serve you a lot but when it comes to manifestation I strongly recommend you guys meditate for 10 15 minutes at least once a day if you can do it twice even better if you can do it three times if you can do it more even better the more the merrier literally so how do you meditate it's very simple you meditate by focusing on the rising and falling of your belly your stomach every time you breathe in you will mentally acknowledge mentally note rising falling when you breathe out you just mentally note falling rising falling rising falling that's what we call the object of meditation and obviously when you meditate a lot of things will come into your mind thoughts desires itchiness cold heart hunger anger frustration etc etc what you want to do is just acknowledge them just acknowledge it just make mental notes about them just be aware you have a thought thinking you have hunger hunger you have angry just tell yourself angry 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 just make a mental note observe them and let them go observe let go that's what we call catch and release as simple as it is it's really that simple you just catch and release as you would 
catch a release a ball. You just get it, you throw it away. You don't keep it, you don't play with it, you don't entertain it. You just catch and release. And you revert back to the rising and falling. That's all you need to do. And you don't need to make it complicated. You don't need to make it more complex than it is. It's as easy as I just said. You just sit in the lotus position. You don't have to be too strict about the position. You can put your back against the wall. You can put a cushion in, behind your lower back. Find yourself a comfortable spot. Gauge your body and its level of comfort. If you feel comfortable, you can start meditating. Put your hands in front of you, in your lap, on your legs. Cross your legs the way it makes you feel. If you cannot cross your leg, if you cannot sit in this position, just sit on a chair. I've seen many people sit on chairs when I was in a meditation center. Older people, people who just can't sit. It's all good. You don't want to lie down though, because lying down, you kind of fall asleep, which is not a bad thing, but you want to spend a little bit of time actually awake and meditating. So just find the right position. Breathe in, breathe out. Close your eyes, breathe in, breathe out. Acknowledge everything in your mind and acknowledge them with kindness, not with repulsion. You're not rejecting anything. You're accepting everything. And you're being neutral. This is not a um, manifestation technique, so to speak. So it's not about being positive and focusing on one thing. When you meditate, you let go of everything. Good, bad, neutral. We don't make any judgment call. You just let go. Breathe in, breathe out. Mental note, that's it. And you will see that after a while, you will just become less and less restless, less and less moved, less and less overwhelmed. You have less thoughts, less emotion. You'll be more and more still. And that's where you want to get to, to this level of stillness. And you'll get there. Obviously, if you start a fast, for example, your body gonna go, and if it's, a, if it's the first time you fast, your body gonna go to a phase of detoxification. And it can be hard, it can be overwhelmed, overwhelming, sorry, but it does take time if you're new to it. So the same process goes for meditation. It might take a time where you have a lot of thoughts, a lot of things that you might wanna give up on meditation. Just weather the storm, so to speak. It will get better, I guarantee. Just be consistent and do as I said. Just observe what is happening with no judgment, with kindness, with tenderness, with presence. Rising, falling, mental note, that's all you need to do. Do it, even if you have just have a second of peace. When you do it, it's enough. And this second will grow to two seconds, three seconds, etc, etc. So you don't need to beat on yourself. Just be consistent and do it on a daily basis. And you'll see, soon enough, you will feel this level of stillness. And that's when you can start the visualization work. You can start the auto suggestion because you will feel still. And a lot of people ask, but how do you know that when you're still enough? You don't need to be blissed out of your skulls. You just need to feel that there's not a lot of distraction. And you feel it when you get there. There's nothing really distracting you. You, in the moment, you feel still, you feel at peace. And that's where you can imprint the subconscious mind very, very effectively. So by all means, please start meditating. If you want to start somewhere, that's the best thing to do. You know, like when you want, it's like a warm up for meditation techniques. Just meditate and be consistent with you. And you'll see just by virtue of meditation, of meditating, you'll see your life will get more peaceful, better, you'll feel less depressed, less negativity. And from there on, you can just grow. So if you want to know guys, if you guys want to know more about meditation, I wrote an ebook on this. You can find it on my website on Amazon. The links are in the description box below. And if you're interested, get it. It's very cheap. It does help me grow my business, grow my brand, and give you more knowledge and give you more of my great content. Hopefully you will like it. And for the next episode, we're going to talk about visualization. So until I see you again, cheers. Thank you for listening.